Alright guys, day two, Gotha 3 for Second Gods, let's go. The first day wasn't really interesting to look at, to be honest, I... That was the one I saved. Um, the first part wasn't really interesting to look at because there weren't that many bugs and glitches yet. There's one thing about Forsaken Gods that can never be removed and that is its original shitty state. There will definitely be traces of it here. The writing is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm curious what we'll see. Um, I'm curious what will happen. Sorry. I slept a little more this time, so maybe my pronunciation will be a little better. Alright. Meryl! Nah, anyway. Evard. Um, where's Obert? Very good. Now you have to fight one more. Very well. Alright. That's quick. I like it. Come here, boy. Oh, fuck. Closer, 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 closer. Fuck. That's the problem I mentioned with range. But luckily, this is Gothic 3. So we can just do this. And recover our stamina and maybe even health. Let me quickly go into the inventory. It's still the same as in Gothic 3, you are invincible while b here, but I don't really have anything that recovers my life. Uh, this is kind of bad. Endurance. Yeah, drink that potion. Alright. I can't, I can't get to him, my my weapon is too short. It's the problem I mentioned at the Gothic 3 review, it's the except... This is, this is like the culmination, why do you put this guy at the beginning? Okay, okay, okay. But at least we actually have to fight. As soon as he does his charged up attack, I'm gonna... Charge at him and... Beaten. Easy. I have this far. Now I'm going to cut short your adventure. Okay. I don't mind. Oh, we already have 4,650. What? So many P? What did we even do? I mean. Oh, okay. The reputation system has gone for this thing. And like I said, only Mertana is available, not Nortmar or Vorant. <sighs> I mean, oh well. First, I gotta need to sleep. Beautiful thing about Gothic 3 is none of the quests are time limited, so if you're low on health, just sleep and you're fine. And this is something I really enjoy in the entire Gothic. In the entirety of the Gothic series, I mean. <sighs> yeah, my pronunciation isn't a lot better. Well, let's just beat that last guy and see where we go. First we have to find him. Where's the Barret? There's Rift. Griswold. Where's the Barret? Dude, I wanna fight! Where are you? Barnabas. Alright, oh, didn't I have to do something with, Bar with Barnabas here? Quick save. Oh, the quick save is so well quick. What do you want? I'm busy. Anton asked me to. Anton, what does that wimp have to say? You used one of his rooms without paying and entertained his wife. Ah, yes, I remember that like it was only yesterday. Hmm, it was yesterday. Anton has a good eye for artifacts, if you know what I mean. Now, why are we talking? I think it's time you paid your dues, Barnabas. I don't like your tone, warrior. What's Anton promised you for this service? A night in one of his rooms? Gold and a letter of recommendation. Listen, boy, and listen carefully. Let's help each other. I don't have any gold right now. Pay up for me. Oh, you idiot. You the point is the letter of recommendation. I'll let you use this spell on Anton. It'll make him forget about the whole thing, including my little quest with his wife. How does this benefit me? There's so much you have to learn. If you pay him, he's happy. And I'm happy, right? I'll return your money anyway. The point is not the money. Him, I'll give you a letter of recommendation. He'll forget that I even looked at his wife. And you'll get a letter without too much effort. Hmm. And maybe mm. I can stay another day at his end when I'm feeling lonely. Hmm. 
but would a letter of recommendation That's actually a good question. Any value? Of course it will. Trust me. Oh, it's time for the wonderful character of my hero again. Enough talk. I've it's decided. It's people like you that have soiled the land of Murtana. Pay up right now. Right now. And if I don't, what are We're you going to do about, about it? it? I'll show you. Come here. I'll show you. But at least he has the same range. That's... Okay, yeah. Spamming an enemy to death as long as I make him... As long as I do enough damage is perfectly possible. And as long as the difference in range isn't too magnificent. No, oh, magnificent wasn't the right word there. There you go. Doesn't matter. You know what I mean. So, while we wait for Barnabas to stand up. Next time, it's my turn. Now, friend, friend would, you, would like you like to pay, to pay up? up? Or would or you like something like some more convincing? Oh, some okay, more convincing. Okay, okay, here. Take your gold and leave, and me, leave alone. me alone. Only 500 gold, alright. I mean not that much very there he is now it is time for you, you to fight, fight the, the champion. champion very well very well avert oh and he has a short weapon that is nice no he has the same as me freak and he has a shield so <sighs> stabbing won't work I'm blocking for Okay, we'll do something very similar this time, only when he stabs. Okay, I don't know why this didn't work the way it was supposed to. It was like my swing didn't even trigger and in the meantime he could just do a normal attack. Why? Is that like... The prevention for me not to abuse this. Come here. Okay, I might have to take one hit once in a while from him. There's a stab. One, two, three. Two. Uh, I don't like this battle. Not at all. Alright. So far, so good. Now there with the shield. I'm gonna go in a little more range. Oh, come on! I don't like this battle, not at all. The combat system of Gothic 3 never really works the way it was supposed to, so fighting any serious battle with this kind of system is just a pain. I don't want to fight like this. Okay. Come on, charge an attack or something. Is he always doing like a quick attack after I hit him? No. And there. Have his HP gone. Well, spamming still works, you just have to time it now. And we can do it constantly. Oh, time to back off. Alright. We can we can beat him, but it's not exactly a hard battle if you abuse the AI like that. Alright, do a charge attack or something. Good. Well, we got our first level up. We didn't even do a lot. And we're level 11 now. Something doesn't add up. Why did we technically raise 10 levels in this short amount of time? I mean, we've been playing this game for 50 minutes. You were lucky this time, warrior. Next time. Why do you always call me warrior? Warrior. Sorry. <sighs> Anything is possible. Oh, these dialogues are painful. Anything is possible. Barnabas, Hunter, Albert. No man, I know. Albert. <laughs> Red Merrill. Albert. Good work. That's all. Dude. Leave me alone. Sure Letter of recommendation? Four Anything? Just four healing potions? Get much worse. Uh. Uh. 
Quest rewards, still as much shit as they used to be. Sorry. I shouldn't use strong language like that, but... Ah, uh, this game. Thomas Clay. No, there was nothing up here. Citizen, trader. This... Was it this guy? Yeah. Here are your dues. And you'll be happy to I keep getting Bonibus strength as a reward. Several bruises. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Here's your letter and your gold. If you ever need a room for free, let Honestly, me Honestly, I think I would like HP more than strength. Because only giving strength kind of an el kind of eliminates the entire point of skilling yourself in different ways if you quests only give you strength anyway. So it would usually always be better. Battle. It would usually always be better to focus on strength. Go mind your own business. But maybe that'll change. I don't know. After all, I've been playing this game for 50 minutes now. Uh, it's kind of confusing where I have to go. Um, commentating and playing the game is kind of difficult when doing both at the same time. Nissan. Okay, what do I have to do? Reunite it. Reunite Marta. All right. Oh, that's great! You know, in Gothic 3, the quest log basically only gave you the dialogue and you had to read through it. But for Second Gods, it gives you a little summary of what you have to do. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Current 5, second 4. Who can sleep with this noise? All right, let's find the Farooqed Birdman. That's what he was called in the original release. Not sure I'm looking forward to it. Do we need to sleep? Okay, we're gonna just collect those to eat in order to raise our maximum mana. But not until much, much later in the game. Uh, so the forests look pretty unchanged. Sunweed. Sorry. All right, Birdman, show me what you got. Or not. Well, the fire is out, that's something. Wait, are all those ro old rebel camps abandoned now? If so, that screams for some extra loot. Hell yeah, don't mind if I do. Do 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 loot 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 loot. You know, as I said in the Gothic 3, re uh, 3 review, the only good loot is found in old and heavy chests, as far as I know. But A, this is something new, so I don't know if this still applies. And B, at the beginning, all kind of loot is good loot. Strange mushrooms. The Okay, they didn't bother to put the fire out here despite having an object for that. Wait. Wait, what? Um. Hello! I just came here to, you know... Oh, bandits. Oh, frick. Oh, and they have the halberd. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Dup, 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 da, da. Running around at the speed of sound. I completely screw that up. Do, 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 do. But it's a good thing they removed the snappers in the area. That would have been a real pain at this level. Or rather with these stats. Do, 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 do. So where's the Birdman? Obviously, I haven't played this game in like years, so I have no idea. Okay. I think I should be pretty close now. If I'm not mistaken, he wasn't he like around somewhere here? No, it doesn't seem right. Anyway, before we head into battle with the Birdman. Let's go to bed. It's something that I need to do. I'm like... 
I literally, I literally have 260 health in total, so that's not a whole lot. In order to be a proper tank, or at least in order to even be able to take something, I need at least 500. Which is, ra which is rather quickly done, considering f you can gain 20 LP with 5 LP. Uh, I mean... Okay, that becomes confusing. You can gain 20 life points with 5 learning points. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, as there are no breadcrumbs, I suppose it's the in the other direction. And I was walking into the wrong area the entire time. So, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. Is he over there? Oh, I think I remember now. The last time I played this, I was rather drunk. And I remember somewhere over there, I think, being scavengers. Yeah, exactly, scavengers. And I was trying to shoot them with my bow and arrow, which I don't have now for some reason. Anyway, I was trying uh, I was trying to shoot them with my bow and arrow, and uh, let's just say it didn't go so well because I had... Because... The amount of alcohol I drank up until that point was already enough. Crazy Birdman. Yeah. Good day. Greetings. Ah, ah. Good day. Ah. Uh, hello. Who are you? Okay. Speak now or face my claws. Ah. A fat dude standing in nature, surrounded by chicken, behaving like a crazy Birdman. Yeah, sounds pretty accurate. I come on behalf of Ulf, the merchant from Silver. Wait. You've been making a racket with your seagulls on his roof. The world is free and belongs to us birds. If you get in our way, we will return to take all our food upon you. I'm just the hog. Yeah, speed. Oh god. It does seem like a very trouble person. Maybe I can make it worth it. Listen. You will have to stop this nonsense at once. Ah, nonsense! You dare insult me and my block? My beak will strike your skull! Uh, Calm down now. Uh, my talons and my wings. Actually, I like I this dialogue. You off the face of this I don't know why I reacted Come that here. way. Maybe it's just that I'm not sure if the riders were serious or not, but they were obviously not. <coughs> Alright. Now, charge, <coughs> twig, <coughs> normal. <coughs> I've been playing Gothic 3 quite a lot. Alright, now for some free XP, let's make the chicken fly away. Okay, they've fixed the flying away glitch. Previously, the chicken, like, blew up in the air for with, like, in the height of, like, five feet before coming down. It was actually funny. It was unusual. Next time it's mine. Don't do anything stupid. Oh. The crazy bird man, what up? Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna get you moving. Stop right there. Alright. Uh, 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 well, uh, that wasn't much of a challenge. Be had there. Okay, time to collect the meat of the chicken. Ah, oh. they don't carry any eggs anymore. In Gothic 3 they could carry... There was a chance that they had eggs. At least if I remember correctly. In the playthrough I did for Gothic 3, I didn't kill any chickens, just now that I think about it. I did at the beginning, if I'm not mistaken, but well, only for the EP boost. Turn. But for nothing else. I have to work. I'm sure you leave me alone. I have to work. Uh, uh, okay, then we kill him, I guess. You dare to s okay, he's dead now. Woo, that's awesome. The Steam version of Gothic 3 didn't have the most recent community patch installed, which is why that feature of just... Sorry. That feature of just... Pressing right click and collecting whatever you're aiming at is just great. Look at this. Bam. Bam. I love it. I 
freaking love it in the release version this wasn't the case you still had to do the same shit as in gothic 3 i love it i love it i'm sorry okay the crazy birdman is dead let's collect the healing plant okay you can pick up plants with the right click but at least there's the stealth skip for that Mm, I don't have a bow and arrow this time. This could get quite difficult, actually. Or at least, this could get pretty bullshitty. It's not a... Gothic 3 is never a case of being difficult, it's how lucky you are. <laughs> uh, come on! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the voice actor in the recording studio really suffered when he recorded that line. Like, he realized the writing was so shit and he just... It wasn't even intentional and he just like... Ah! <laughs> Oh, this is just too good. All right. Now we're gonna do this with a brain. One triggering, normal hit. Triggering. Okay, back off. One. Swipe. Swipe. And kill these fucking scavengers! Woo! All right. They're dead. Raw meat, raw meat, raw meat, scavenger eggs. All right. Some plants, maybe I can sell them. Doop doop do. Okay, the scavengers weren't too bad. Once more than two attack you, you have to back out. Because then the bullshittery just keeps going and you can't escape anymore. Well, barely. When it's already too late. Uh, no, no, not wolves. Not with the sword. Screw that. Seriously. But don't I have to get to... Uh... Oh, so then... Yeah, I have to get to Geldern. Geldern. Alright, let's fight wolves. Uh... Alright, let's see what we got here. Wolf. I am barely doing any damage to them. Ah! Oh my god, it uses stamina. The dodge uses stamina. Oh my god. I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Woo! That was... Ah! Come, come! I was one swipe away from killing it. And the wolf is eating the scavenger now. Fine. Let's kill the wolves again. Uh, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be better if I learn how to skin animals first? Uh, okay, let's not kill the wolves. Sildan, let's go. I don't want to walk. By the way, that teleportation rune is number 10. The quick bar in Gothic 3 is a really nice addition. But the drinking animation for the potions is just horrible. Like, they wanted to make sure that you don't use potions during battle. Um, Farouk Birdman. That was somewhere around here. Oh. It is done. Oh, good riddance. Plus two. You've done me a great service. Here's your letter. Oh, 700 gold. Nice. Recommendation letter. All right. 20 learning points already. Uh, okay. I'm level 12 already. I don't know what I did, but I'm level 12. Undigested fire nettles. Meryl wants Dylan's amulet. From Galdern, okay. 
in Galdern and Silden. Is Silden already done? Are there like only two letters of recommendation here? Or rather three with a quest that goes into Galdern? Is like really all there is? Nothing else. Oh wait, the old chest. I have lockpicks now. I still should have some. Five. Old chest, old chest, old chest. Alright, show me what you got. Hunting bow. Nice. Those are some pretty good potions. Oh, not rather potions, but wine with a new texture. That's cool. Snapper. You know. Maximum life energy protection against missiles. Okay, missiles. Um, <coughs> Hunting bow. Three. Uh, I don't even have normal arrows. Where did my normal arrows go? Okay, the torch goes to nine. Or eight. Uh, you go back to ten. You go to two, you go to one, you go to three. Alright. Rearranged. <sighs> Torch, endurance potion. Is there even a thievery limit? I'm sure you have something else to do. If not, wait, let me try this. Let me try this. I wanna try looting this entire city. Because if we are allowed to do that, then Oh god. Then we'll have more gold than we could hope for. Teach me about being a smith. Leave me alone. I just can't go. I'm sure on. you have something else to do. D does nobody care? Like literally nobody. Nothing to be had. Too hard. Too hot. Wait, what? Too hard. Too hard. Too hard. Too hard. <sighs> Okay, dude, I'm just gonna, like, steal your chalices and goblets and chests and you don't even care. That's alright. So apparently you can steal everything in this game. I didn't know about that. Meaning that the entire point of thievery is kind of redundant. Ah, oh, I was already here. Something else in here. Yes, we're gonna loot. We're gonna get some more gold now. Uh, Two-hander, worn. All those worn weapons, except for the halberd, you can't use any of those, seriously. Because worn weapons only do half their original damage. Besides, I don't like using two-handers. They are too slow for me, even though you can heavily abuse the halberd. Two ox layers, sword, rusty sword, blah, 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 blah. Rusty battle axe. Nah. Short range. Shields, I'll keep one. If we're gonna learn shields, then at least I can use it for something. For some extra armor. Caskets. Uh, ladles. Gobbles. We. <laughs> Sorry. Trade. Do I have any recipes? Now that I think about it. None at all. Let's see if we even need alchemy. Because I'm not sure we will even... I'm not really too sure we're gonna need it. Considering the amount of experience points that I'm getting. Did they raise the amount of experience points you get in favor because of Nordmann and Varand? Not sure. By the way, we go we're only going to loot at the beginning because, as I said... <coughs> sorry. Because, as I said in the Gothic 3 review, Gothic 3 review, the only good loot uh, after about mid-game is only found in heavy and old chests. But first, we're gonna steal everything. With no exception. Black Robot, Coin, Lockpick, Raw Steel. I'm just glad we didn't encounter any major bugs so far. Oh, we have arrows! Whoop. Nice. Now we can abuse the game even more. Raw meat bug, apple, chest. I can literally just take everything. They forgot to program in an eye for that. 
They just had to take and they just had to take Gothic three for that. Not Show. like that. Not like that. Wait. He mines. All right. Then we're gonna do something funny. Something I already did in Gothic three quite a number of times. Come with me. This guy only uses. A one-handed weapon, this is even better. Stop right there. And now, woo! Well, now he has to find a way around it. And look at the way around it. Everywhere, there's a fence everywhere. He can't even go around it. See? But apparently there's one NPC that minds if I take something. I mean, that's a thing. There's a scavenger, a normal sword, but nothing. I Ooh, a soldier sword! Hell yeah! Is it longer? Much longer! Yeah! Wait, why didn't I move there? Woo! Woo! I like it. So yeah, so far for Second Gods is actually quite enjoyable. I mean, the writing is horrible. The quests ca are kind of annoying. I mean, I d don't even know where to look for those scavengers that ate fire nettles. <coughs> but in terms of gameplay, it's the same, basically. It's only fun because, like I said in the Gothic 3 review, again, sorry, you'll hear that quite a number of times during this video. As I said in the Gothic 3 review, the first 20 hours are enjoyable. After that, it's all downhill. Once you get overpowered, this entire experience becomes worse and worse. Sorry, I should really work on my pronunciation, etc. I'm not making... For I'm not really a good narrator now that I notice. <coughs> Can... How much damage do we do with this bow? Enough! Come on. Ah! Ah, oh, so close. What the fuck? Come on, die. I just want to die. Alright, some die, some don't. Maybe I shot the other one in the head. I put you away, come on. Okay, dear, dear, dear. This kind of... Every time I see the name Deer, I have to re remind myself of the, uh, of the anime series Deers. Oh god, that series. <sighs> I don't know why I marathon watched it in one evening. But I did, and it was weirdly enjoyable, but for all the wrong reasons. I don't think I should be here. Wait. Okara. Is Okara a city now? Let's go to Okara. We have the teleport stone back to Sildan, so it doesn't really matter if we stray off the way. At least as far as I'm aware. I don't know how well Forsaken Gods deals with spontaneous new locations. I mean, it's at least playable now. It doesn't constantly crash. That's a big plus. You have no idea. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is a whole lot more walking. And I still have to say this. I... Murtana and Nordma are still really, really enjoyable areas. Varan sadly suffers from visual monotony. And having an un... Yeah, having an unfinished world, like, all the way through. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? Goblins? Goblins! Woo! No, fuck this. I'm not dealing with goblins. Not today, man. There, teleported stone. I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with goblins today. You have no idea how painful these little fuckers are. Sorry. Like I said, I shouldn't curse so much. 
Back to Silden. Alright. At least we have a teleportation stone in Okara, so we can quickly go to Gotha in Monterra if we want to. Faring Vanguard. Does Vanguard finally have an harbor? Yeah, does Vanguard find does Vanguard finally have a harbor? It's like one of the major criticisms. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. While I'm trying to keep you entertained with my talking. But we'll see. Next morning, I we are off to Geldern then. And we still have another 20 minutes to record. Wait. Who are in the huts anyway? Can they give me a letter of recommendation? And where's... Did, have I been in the slave quarters yet? Weren't they like here? No, they were on the other side of them. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember the exact layout of Sildan in Gothic 3. Oh, they are the scavengers. I see. Time to kill! Now with the longer blade. And let me tell you, the battles are gonna be much easier from this point on. There. The hit registry often doesn't work properly. Like, I hit them, but they don't get any knockback. What the hell? Undigested fire nettle. Alright, I should have enough now, I think. Those were the only ones. Flameberry. Why are there so many flameberries here? So, um, nothing else here. Another flameberry? Wolfweed, wolfweed. What the hell? Wait, do this flameberry. Yeah, still permanently increase your mana. Like, what the hell? Why are there so many of those? But at least there's something to collect now. So. Stone root. I don't want to pick up everything. I'm sorry. I really don't want to. I did that in Gothic 3. At least for the first half of my playthrough. Is this abandoned? Yeah, by the looks of it. Hmm. So there are two beds. Where did the hunters go? Lurkers. Mm, I don't think I'm ready for lurkers yet, but I can sleep. It doesn't really matter if I'm sleeping until mor morning or midday. The result is kind of the same. I just don't. I don't want to walk around here during night. That's the only one thing that I don't want to do. Okay. Wolf, attempt number two. Again, the hit registry doesn't work. Oh. Why do they not get any luck back? Sorry. But that's something that actually worked in Gothic 3. Enemies actually getting knocked back. That's basically the only fun way it was to win. It was monotone as hell, but it wasn't annoying. Not too much anyway. When it was used on you, then holy hell. Rangers. Huh? Why are they here? Wait. Is this just a group of rangers? Oh. Don't With a druid! What the hell? So there's just a group of rangers with a druid here. In Gothic 3, I would just kill them to see if they would get me any reputation, but... Yeah, the reputation system is gone. I literally have no reason to even attempt that. But why are they even here? I mean, I don't mind. If they have no quest relevance, then it's a nice touch, but... I don't know, it 
That doesn't really feel like gothic. Metal chest. Too hard. No. Not a heavy chest. Okay, the cave. Stone metal. Cave time! For this, I switch into first person mode because it's easier to aim. Another goblin! Fun fact! Just walking backwards and spamming uncharged arrows does deal more damage than constantly charging. See? <sighs> so, we're still dealing with goblins in this episode. By the looks of it. Oh, black goblins. But I got a good shot. Oh, shit! If you want to know why I said, oh shit, that was a goblin shaman. You don't want to mess with that guy. Like, really. I've been killed in Nordmark countless times by just fucking goblin shamans hiding in bushes. They're so painful to deal with. Alright, more scavengers. It actually kind of rem... <coughs> The way the world is designed, it kind of reminds me more of the likes of Gothic 1, to be honest. It's always one! You know, properly fighting... Why should I even do that? Because the hit registry often doesn't work anyway. So, what's the point? Alright. I get it. Supposed to use bow and arrow, blah blah blah. One scavenger dead, the other one is dead, more are about to die! Holy... What? Okay, I don't know what I did, but it looked cool. Oh my god, I have one health point left, time for... Uh, I think we can kill this guy with only a bow and arrow. I don't want to waste any potions. Come on. Woo! And charge. Dead. Easy. And I have so many health points left. You wouldn't believe it, man. Like, seriously. This was so easy. No damage. Perfect run. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Another endurance potion, okay. Uh, healing, that's useful. And a healing potion. I'm pretty sure there was somebody that drank the healing potion here instead of sleeping. I can imagine somebody doing that. So there's nobody here either. Alright then. So, why do I even need to explore? Am I even supposed to explore? Bison. I'm not ready for bisons yet, unfortunately. Back to Silden, we can bring the undigested fire nettles to the mage, no, the alchemist, that did this. And yes, this is day two of my recording session, so I'm only going to play this game for short amounts of time per day, so that I can follow up with editing the episodes in a good oh, fashion. Hello. I sent someone to get my nettles. Now I don't remember who. If you meet him, let yeah, me I get know. the point. Sorry, it is done. Five undigested nettles. Ah, thank you. What's this? Oh yes, I remember. Here's your reward. Okay. Like I said, they can I use the character already, so. It, mm kinda eliminates the joke as they just reused the same punchline, basically. A trader. 4k gold. Alright. How much can I buy from you? Or how much can you buy from me? Um, 
Just a question, why is there an 11,875 axe just lying around here that I can sell? It kinda gets me too much gold at the beginning. I'm not gonna question logic. Alright, undigested fire nettles are done. Now we need to get to Gu Yeah, we need to get to Geldern. I wanted to say Gilden. But that's another game series, so I suppose I'm kinda wrong there. Okay, Geldern. Shouldn't I learn some abilities first? 20. Can I even learn stuff like strength already? I mean, I have like a teacher for alchemy. I have one for... Anything is possible. I, I think I only have alchemy. Leave me alone. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, this time we're gonna avoid the cave altogether now. Because I don't want to... I really don't want to deal with those wolves. Well, maybe we should make this this episode's finale. We've already had some fun trying to deal with them. Beating them will be this episode's finale. What do you guys think about that? Alrighty then. With that, let's go kill the wolves. But first, some exploring. I, They obviously redesigned the world to some extent, so I'm kind of curious what they did with it. I'm kind of well familiar with Ratana, more or less. Do, do, do. Now I'm going to Trellis. Nah, let's kill the wolves. It's time for the wolves to end. And then the final wolf dissolves in an energy of light as he simply ignores the blade that is swinging through him. That is the finale I'm dreaming about. The purpose of my life would be fulfilled. Do 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 German techno songs, oh god. So it's raining now. The rain doesn't even have any effects. Oh, oh blood flies. And now I'm getting to Galdern. I skipped the cave! No, I don't wanna skip the cave. I want to. I want to kill those wolves, and there they are. Do I really want to kill those wolves first? I think. I think I have an idea. It might work. It might not work. Do not try this at home. Or do like I don't care. Um. What is that wolf doing? Ah. One. Why didn't it hit? Okay, that was just a bad shot. I'm such a bad shot right now, I cannot believe this. Okay, now that they're gone, maybe I can f kill the other ones. Maybe. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Woo. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm so slow. See you next episode tomorrow.